Hey, it's Keith Smith from Pilot Edge. I'm here in X-Plane 11 to give you a demonstration of a new radio feature which is coming to the network. Uh, in fact, it's live now. You, uh, it may be enabled by default uh, for you, depending on when you're watching this video, or it may be that we're in the public beta testing period where you have to unlock the feature. In either case, just check the information associated with this video uh, for the latest update as to the status of this feature. But let's get right, get right into it. The feature is line of sight communications. So we recently introduced the ATIS feature. In fact, we will be using the ATIS as a, as a demonstration radio stream here because it is a continuous broadcast. It's actually really, really good for demoing this feature. Uh, we also recently introduced a uh, fully isolated guard uh, frequency 121.5 where you no longer hear the center controllers doing all the other non-guard stuff. So guard is fully isolated on 121.5. The ATIS feature is live if you're not aware of these new features on Pilot Edge. But we're here today to discuss the third new feature, which is line of sight communications. So let's demo it here in X-Plane 11 in the Baron. So I'm flying along just north of Palm Springs. I will tune the ATIS, which is 124.65. 2.3, altimeter 3004, arriving and departing runways 31 left, 31 right. Visual approaches in use. The FR departures contact clearance delivery. Advise on course heading, altitude, and if flight following is requested. Read battle runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact you have information uniform. Okay, that sounded pretty good. I should hope it sounds pretty good because the airport is like right there in front of us. So, excellent line of sight, no problem. But you'll notice to our right, there's a bloody big mountain hoving into view. That's the San Jacinto Wilderness Area. It'll take a little bit of time to fly there. I know people just want to hear this thing working rather than just look at the pretty, uh, the pretty scenery. Mind you, it is very pretty. Uh, so let's, let's turn the ATIS back on. And what I'm going to do is pull up the online map here. And there's the Palm Springs Airport. There's us. And what I'm going to do is drag the plane to the southwest. And the further west I go, the worse I'd expect the radio to sound. So, without further ado, Information ATIS uniform. on. Make sure she's talking. Palm Springs and International here we go. Airport. ATIS information uniform. So far, so good. Two one five three zero. Airport still there. Wind variable at four. Visibility one zero. Sky condition still clear. There. Temperature two three. Hmm. Still there, but not as good. Slightly worse. For those who are curious, we're at minus 88 dB on the signal strength out of 100. Oh dear. Absolutely nothing. Just that little bit of difference. Right. There. International Airport. Eight. Hey, information uniform. Two one five three zero. Wind variable at four. Visibility one. Zero. Minus ninety two. Minus ninety three. We found the uh, basically the worst spot or the transition area here where we we go from bad to impossible. Minus ninety six. Minus ninety seven. Minus ninety eight. Minus 99.38, gone. That there's about the most clear demonstration of line of sight communications you'll, uh, you'll probably see on the network ever. Actually worked pretty well. Okay, so you get the idea. If there's a mountain blocking you, it's not gonna happen for you. This affects pilot to pilot communications and pilot to ground. It takes into account uh, the frequency you're on, so VHF versus UHF. Uh, basically the lower the frequency, the better the range. Uh, so you might even notice the difference between being on, say, 132 versus 121 um, for the same controller. Switch that off. There we go. So uh, it takes into account whether it's going over open water versus over land. Uh, there's a lot of calculations there. It's, it's some, some pretty fantastic code, uh, which I did not write. <laughs> so I actually wanted to personally thank uh, Sasso from the Hot Start team. Of, uh, of TBM 900 fame for working on this implementation. It was a, a good collaboration, um, but the bulk of the work was definitely him. He is, uh, he is some sort of genius, I gotta tell you. 
So very grateful to him, uh, to him for helping put this together. Uh, this is all server side, by the way. This doesn't affect your frame rate or anything like that. The server has the terrain database and is making all these calculations uh, every couple of seconds. Um, okay, one more thing to uh, one more thing to add, which is, as you think this through, there's one important feature which we have on Pilot Edge which no longer works as a result of this, and that feature was how to pick up a an IFR clearance at a non-towered airport. Um, in the real world, you would do that through an RCO, a GCO or phone. Um, in fact, the GCO is nothing more than a, a radio link to a phone. But uh, So on, on Pilot Edge, we set the radio so that it was powerful enough that you could pick up the approach or center controller all the way on the ground. Um, and to, get, to be clear, it, in the past, we have varied the radio range based on your altitude. So it was possible to get, uh, you know, to pick up the ATIS and then drop down to a low level and hear it get all distorted. So we have been doing some radio uh, distance calculations. We just haven't been taking into account uh, terrain and the exponential drop off in the power of the radio signal. That's what's really changed here. Uh, what we were really calculating before was curvature of the earth and you have line of sight with the curvature of the earth. This takes into account terrain and a lot of other variables. So I say all that to, uh, to bring us back to this, uh, this clearance issue. So in the past, you could call approach or center to pick up your clearances. You can still try to do that, but in most places on the ground, you probably won't be able to reach approach or center on the ground. So what you are doing normally there is pick up the phone. Well, we don't have a phone number for you to call at the moment on Pilot Edge. So what we have done instead is model a radio frequency, which is 122.2, which in the real world is a flight service frequency. Uh, and you can now use that to contact the center controller. To be 100% clear, we do not support flight service. Do not call in the air on that frequency to file a flight plan or get a full weather briefing or ask for PIREPS or any of the other flight service stuff. We don't support flight service. Controllers are not trained on, on flight service, nor do we have the bandwidth to give you a full weather briefing, uh, nor do we have the information in front of us to give you a full weather briefing uh, with no TAMs and, uh, and all of that sort of thing. So 122.2 on the ground will work and you are simulating a phone call between yourself, the pilot, and the center controller covering that airspace at the non-towered airport. So feel free to call to get your uh, clearance. In the real world, you would do that either while you're parked or taxiing at a brisk walking pace to the runway. And we enforce that here. So just to make sure you're not using 122.2 in the air for the wrong reasons, the frequency will not work in the air. So anything above 35 knots and the radio frequency will not work. If you are at zero knots, you'll get 100% signal strength. If you are um, at 35 knots, you get 0% signal strength. And it just, it's a linear, uh, it's a linear calculation between those two. So the faster you go, the more the radio will drop in quality when you're trying to talk to flight service. So what, what we're trying to do there is just give you a friendly reminder that, uh, that you're not supposed to be flying with, uh, yeah, while using that frequency. So there it is, line of sight communications and how to pick up clearances at non-towered airports. Uh, the feature is, uh, depending on when you're watching this, the feature is either live on the network right now by default, or you have to unlock it using a remark in the flight plan. Uh, check out the notes associated with the video for the latest update on the release status. Hope you enjoyed it, and go back to listening to this uh, to Here, temperature 2.3, dew point 3. Altimeter 3004.